Voice one. Go. To cook shrimp on the barbie like a true Aussie, start by marinating the prawns with a touch of olive oil, garlic, and lemon. Then skewer them up. Toss them. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's check out this new update by Eleven Labs that allows us to create brand new, unique voices through just a prompt. Yes, you heard me right. A simple prompt like that is gonna generate a unique voice we can use anywhere. So if we can use it anywhere, let's go ahead and start automating everything we would wanna do with it with Zapier. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Zapier. They call me up, they're like, let's just do a bunch of cool videos together. I'm like, okay, let's do it. This video is based off a new feature by Eleven Labs. This one's pretty cool, y'all. This one allows us to put in a simple prompt and then get any type of voice, any type of voice, Corbin, any type of voice. So my intention with this video is we're gonna play off a video that we did earlier this week where we created an entire automation to create eBooks. I'll go ahead and leave this in the description down below. 40 minutes, I show you how to automatically create eBooks with images from Mid Journey, the actual design and templates of your book ready to go, everything you'd wanna do with a simple Google form submission. Therefore, let's take the little eBook we made in that video and add a little bit of a narration to it. To get started here, go to 11 Labs, make an account, and let's create a voice. I'm gonna hit add new voice. We got a bunch of different options here, but let's do the new feature here of voice design. So it'll give us a default prompt. We're gonna do a different one. Let's try a different one. Because in our other video, the first ebook we created together was like a wizard. We're gonna do a wizard. Let's go ahead and push 11 labs to the limits here. I'm gonna say a wizard who is from Australia. Good day, mate. Sounds super energetic and is ready to explore new worlds. And then for the text to preview, because our wizard's from Australia, shrimp on the barbie. We're gonna do to cook shrimp on the barbie like a true Aussie. Start by marinating the prawns with a touch of olive oil, so on and so forth. Let's hear the Australian. Say it instead. Generate voice. Okay, so it automatically plays, y'all. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. So we get three options, three different voices based off our input here. Voice one, go. To cook shrimp on the barbie like a true Aussie, start by marinating the prawns with a touch of olive oil, garlic, and lemon. Then skewer them up. Toss them. All right, not bad, not bad. Voice two. To cook shrimp on the barbie like a true Aussie, start by marinating the prawns with a touch of olive oil, garlic, and lemon, then All right, chill out, chill out. Voice three. To cook shrimp on the barbie like a true Aussie, start by marinating <laughs> the prawns with a touch of olive oil, garlic, and lemon, then skewer them up. Toss them on a hot grill for a couple of minutes each side until they're pink. All right, that's super solid. I'm going to go with voice one here. To cook shrimp. <laughs> All right, we get it. We know how to cook shrimp now. It's like voice. Now that we've created a voice with just a simple prompt here, we got the name of Australian wizard. For the language, I'm gonna choose English. And then the description is pretty good. I'll go ahead and keep it. Save voice. So what's super cool now is that this is within our dashboard on 11 Labs. We can use this voice anywhere, but I'm gonna show you how to use it so you can start automating anything you'd want with it. So we're gonna do the ebook example today, but in theory, you could do this anywhere, what I'm about to show you when it comes to automation, but whatever it may be, let's see how we do it. To get started here, we're gonna say view. So what we're gonna care about so we can start automating everything is that ID button. So copy that, put that in your notes. I've copied the ID. Perfect, now that we've created the voice, we also need to be able to access it through external softwares like Zapier. In order to do that, we're gonna come down to our profile here. We're gonna go to API keys. I've already created one, but all you need to do is simply hit create API key, give it a name, hit create, copy the key that you see there, put in your notes, have it somewhere that you can be able to use it later on. Mammoth Giant Otter. Okay, 11 Labs. All right, let's get to the fun part here. Let's start automating. We're gonna go ahead and take the zap that we had in that other video I showed you, which was creating the ebook, and we're gonna add some steps here. I'll make sure I leave this automation in the description down below so you can just click it, add to your profile, be good to go. Let's proceed. So the joint PDF files are obviously the ebook that we created. E.g., the second one we created was a little bit of like a dinosaur theme with like the first chapter and then all the relevant copy here. I want this written in an Australian voice. To do so, add step, we're gonna do webhook. For a webhook here, we're gonna do a custom request. Hit continue. And basically what we're going to do here, y'all, is we're going to leverage, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it exactly. So don't get scared by all this, but we're going to show you how to leverage text to speech here. Because the idea is that we have an entire book, but we want to convert this into an audio file that we can listen to the book. Therefore, we'll do text to speech. In other words, we're going to basically contact 11 labs and be like, hey, we need a voice over for our book. All right, method. We're going to do post. We're sending information like, hey, make this into audio form. The URL, we're gonna use this URL and then the other part of this URL, this very end point here, is gonna be the voice ID that we copied earlier. So for me, the voice ID is this. It's gonna look very similar to that. Like obviously not that, but the similar structure in the sense of like a crazy string or just text and numbers. Now, all we need to do is very simply add a little bit of data here. Here is all we're gonna add. So obviously the text, this is where we're gonna put in the text we want the audio file to come from. And then next, voice settings. These are required by 11 Labs in order for us to receive a voice. We got stability and similarity boost. For now, leave them both at 0.5, you'll be fine. This is where we have the fun though. And the text here, 
let's go to input our chapter that we got from the previous video. And of course, you can put any text there if you want to leverage this in any other context. For me, it's chapter one. And then the final step in order to do this is basically add our API key that we copied earlier. And based off the documentation, we simply put it in the header section here. So it's going to be this little variable. Put it right there. XI-API-Key. No, I'm not a computer. <laughs> okay, and then just paste your API key right there. It should start with SK. Obviously, you can't see mine, but just go ahead and hit continue once you put it in. And then let's see the magic test step. This actually threw an error, and that's just because when I sent this payload or sent it to 11 Labs, it doesn't like these little indentations, like these little spacings. Let me show you how to remove that. In order to fix that little situation we were having with the new lines, all we need to do is simply create a formatter by Zapier block. With this block, we're going to choose text. In configure, go ahead and put in the text you want to format. If even has indentations, it might not. And the way we identify what we want to remove is going to be new line. This is from Zapier's documentation. Once we do that, it's just going to print it out like one big string or just one big text block, which is good to use with 11 Labs API. And once we get a successful output, it'll look like this. So now that we have the file, let's go ahead and upload it. So this block right here, I'm going to rename it. This is going to be uploading the book. Therefore, I'm just going to duplicate this and then we'll get our audio book as well. I'm going to rename audio. Grab this. Google Drive, upload file, configure. And then let's go and change some of the stuff. So we're going to do Zapier Book Creator. That's all good. The file we're going to change. Uh, the name of it, we can be custom or we can just give anything. Audio book's fine. Let's put the file in, which we'll find in the Git voiceover or the little webhook we just set up. Let me go ahead and just retest that step so we can get the file. There we go. Come back to file here. Hit add. Git voiceover. File exists, but not shown. Don't worry. It's there. And then hit continue, test this step, and we should be getting an audio file sent to this Google Drive folder. And right there, we have our first chapter. Let's listen to it. Chapter one, the floating isles. The morning sun glimmered over the expanse of the sky, casting a golden hue upon the floating islands of Aralis. Lyra stood at the edge of the highest cliff on Ilium Isle, her heart racing with both wonder and trepidation as she watched the mist rise from the vibrant florals below their petals shimmering like gemstones in the twilight. This place had... That's pretty cool. And now we have an audiobook. Therefore, we've successfully created a brand new voice using 11 Labs' new feature. We were able to grab that voice that was just created by a simple prompt. And based off our automatically created ebook, we have an audiobook, which we can listen to. Chapter 1. The Floating Isles. If you felt like you learned something in today's video, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. I'm going to leave that video I was referencing earlier about creating an auto ebook at the end here. In addition, I'll leave all the relevant resources in the description down below that Zapier Automation and 11 Labs. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. We have an audiobook now, custom voice, Australian. Those are two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.